Howdy, 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 my darling Taurus. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Taurus, all right, for June. So let's just jump right into this tarot reading here today, see what's going on with y'all, darling, see what the tea is, all right? If you want to uh, get the full spectrum of what's going on in your life in specific, Taurus, be sure to check out um, your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign to get the full spectrum and understanding, all right? That's how you consume public readings, all right, is you have to really cater to what's going on in your chart. And if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Taurus, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe all right so let's just get right in here darling shall we y'all are doing some big things right now here at taurus all right you have here the emperor card the fool as well as the high priestess coming in here Ooh. okay so and then we have in the back of the deck and i'll explain why i'm like <laughs> kind of geeking out for you here taurus the two of swords here so y'all are about to be doing some major changes in your life here y'all are going to a point in your life where you're about to be presented a crossroads where you start uh having the ability having the resources given to you to be able to greatly alter your life here it's almost this this way of where it's like after this week after you make this decision here like there's no going back for you all right i feel like this is with this high priestess energy this is almost like a spiritual calling for you be paying attention to how i mean however you personally communicate with your spiritual team and whatever that entails taurus all right none of my business but I feel like you're going to be uh, left very uh, specific spiritual signs for you this week, Taurus, that you all need to start following the breadcrumb trail for. All right. With this full energy here, as well as the Emperor card coming in, and this is like the opportunity for you, Taurus, to take life by the horns and to make it clear to not only yourself, Taurus, but also uh, to everyone and everything around you that you are here to take up space, Taurus, that you are here to go after what it is that you personally want, that you're interested in building your own personal empire, your legacy, darling, right? Your legacy here. It feels for me here, Taurus, that there's some facet in your life that you are no longer interested in playing the uh, wallflower for in the background scenes here. I feel like this has been a long thing coming for you where with this Two of Swords coming in, the only reason why this Two of Swords steps forward to you, I feel, is because uh, any other point in time, Taurus, it feels like you were always living your life to please somebody else living your life or doing certain things in your life to based off of how other people would perceive you or react to you Taurus your your crossroads is now beginning because um something internally I feel has just like stirred you whether this is like spiritually something has like really happened in the physical that's like really uh, some changed how you see the world change how you see yourself Taurus and now you're getting to this point where for you you're just you can't you can't pretend anymore i feel you are you are at this point where you are interested in calling for more command i feel taurus here so let's continue on here let's start let's start getting some extra detail here taurus all right mm -mm. we have here the king of cups coming in the eight of wands as well as the seven of wands coming in here okay <laughs> Taurus, you no longer are being appealed. You're no longer interested in playing games with a certain individual. You are no longer interested in catering to the people, people's emotions and comfort around you here. I feel like for many of you guys, Taurus, you're going to be noticing how your friend group is going to be rapidly changing. The social, um, your social settings are just really in a place of where they're shifting because it's like now that you are starting to take up more space uh comfortably for you taurus here you're noticing certain people or certain uh energies are just not reacting in the way that you would anticipate them reacting in taurus i feel like for you you are seeing how uncomfortable it's making other people for you to finally start living in your truth and it's like for you taurus you're in this place of being like all right if you're not gonna be riding with me darling see yourself out of here feels like for many of you guys here Taurus it's like you have like purpose now I feel and not to say that you didn't have purpose beforehand Taurus but there's like you have it's either this sense of where you feel like you have something to prove within yourself now and it's like you there's nothing that's going to water that vision down for yourself you you really lasered your focus in on what it is that you want to make of yourself in this world what it is that you want to be known for it's like you want to le really start leaving your mark in this place and i really celebrate you that for uh for you tours here as a tarot reader when you see a bunch of um 
major arcanas stepping forward to you like we did at the very beginning darling your first three cards were major arcanas especially very impactful major arcana says honey um that represents big transitions this represents to me Taurus, that uh, you no longer are in sleeper mode i feel like for you now um how would I want to put this? I see you traveling, Taurus. I see you traveling. I see movement for you in every sense of the word. I feel like you are getting to this point now where it's like your current environment just isn't... Now that you're in this place, Taurus, of where you're wanting certain things out of people, out of situations in your life here, it's now that you're seeing the appropriate reflection of yourself, Taurus, um, this better understanding of yourself, the way that you were living your life beforehand and the people that were around you beforehand um, just are not doing it for you anymore here. Something is calling for you. Something is stirring for you uh, personally here, Taurus, to uh, start drastically changing your story here. And I celebrate you for that. But what is the problem here, right? I see you guys going into this direction, Taurus, but then I'm still, I feel like there's like something's up still. <clears throat> queen of pentacles in the reverse page as well as the eight of pentacles here <clears throat> so i'm gonna flip this card over because so you can see the artwork of it so what's been personally stopping you taurus i feel is like you've been waiting for you've been waiting for the appropriate opportunity you've been waiting for the appropriate time for or the appropriate path to show up where you're not going to be as inconvenienced but you're still able to up level here it's like for you, Taurus, you, now that you have this understanding, you don't want to make your next decision that will end up like putting you back. You want to make, it's like now that you have this better appreciation for yourself, Taurus, you value each step that you take. And so each step that you do, you don't want to waste your time anymore. You don't want to be wasting your time with certain people that you talk to anymore. Like they have to provide substance to you now. I feel like you're going to be noticing Taurus where it's just like the people that you used to like, the friendships that you used to maintain Taurus where perhaps like they were like good friends to be around for like partying or what have you. It's like you're wanting more like a more... 360 experience with your friendships your and just your relationships in general Taurus you're wanting to you don't want to waste your time there's like this sense of urgency within you Taurus it's like you you need to accomplish x y and z whatever this is for you Taurus otherwise you're just so disinterested here I see you know now that we have this eight of pentacles here on top of the eight of wands for you Taurus I see for you guys here like definitely something is start some facet in your life whether this is socially whether it's again for living environment for many of you guys or just something where you had put your roots in beforehand taurus um i see a lot of movement here um i don't feel as if for you taurus that you're going to be in a state of being really comfortable for a while because i'm not going to sugarcoat this for you darling all right i feel like for you you're in this big transition and during this major i mean some people would i guess i suppose Taurus like use like verbiage such as like awakening or you know enlightenment or whatever you want to call it Taurus. right i'm not here to label it here for you but it's like during this period it's not going to be just like an overnight thing it's like having to um day by day just having to unpack certain things having to adjust and so i feel like you guys are at this point towards where you're going to be a little bit uncomfortable out of your comfort zone out of your element for a while here all right i do feel that but i also feel for you that you're going to be noticing i feel like for it's this is very specific tours but i feel like for many of you guys i see on this new path for you um y'all path y'all's path crossing with another individual or individuals all right or there's some type of beacon that uh really helps you feel like you're sane in this world i feel taurus It'll help you affirm the direction that you are going, the steps that you are doing here. Because I feel as if that you, Taurus, need this sense of like this boat of confidence as well. Because it's like naturally as you start, you know, it's all good. This makes me think of Taurus where it's like, you know, you, where we all have had those times where we feel extremely motivated and be like, all right, we're going to transform our life. We're going to change our diet. We're going to do be 100 times more productive. And that's at like two o'clock in the morning. And then by morning time, it's like a lot of that energy is gone for you. Um, in this case here for you, Taurus, it's like you start the movement. And then because so many things start shifting in your life, so many uh, facets in your life are 
making you uncomfortable because you i do feel as if for you a lot like taurus you're going to be naturally just distant because i don't feel like anything directly happens i feel like for you you are just starting to naturally distance yourself from people that you just cannot relate to in a full 360 experience anymore. And so you're going to need this anchor, Taurus, at some point to let you know that you're not just being crazy. You're not just isolating yourself. You're not sabotaging anything. So, and that's going to be coming for you, Taurus. All right. Whether that I feel like from probably like 80% of you Tauruses, it's going to come in through the shape of a, a person that you start connecting to. All right that starts developing and just being like your own personal cheerleader or at least being very thought provoking that's something that really uh came into my mind here as well all right someone that's going to be challenging you but someone that also thinks and sees on the same wavelength that you do Taurus, to help really validate your experience that you're going through and just letting you know that you are not crazy that's what something that i always experience with so many of my clients that will like email me and they start waking up to like the matrix or like whatever you want to subscribe to Taurus. Um, just like realizing that there's more that goes on in this world than like what we're told through school and all that. Like there's like this adjustment period for people where they start Taurus is they'll start like gaslighting themselves and be like, oh no, like <laughs> where it's like everything's so different around them. And you went through this transformative experience. Like you have like this ego death and then you walk back out into society and society's still just the same. Right. So you, you can start f spiraling and being like, oh my God, like, well, how is everyone still able to just function? Whatever, you know, spirit's going to make sure that there's something brought into your path Taurus, to help uh, validate you, to help you realize that you are not crazy crazy or that you are not insane so be looking for that as well it makes sense as to why we had in these cards here taurus uh talking about telling you just being uh where you are going to just be distancing yourself and then going into new environments all right and to be paying attention to the signs that your spiritual team are leaving all right so really get in tune with your spiritual team whether that's your ancestors your spirit guides whether you work with specific deities you know taurus i'm not here to tell you what you should be believing in and what makes sense for you right because none of my business darling but um, definitely connect to them more because they're definitely trying to assist you during this extremely pivotal point in your life. All right, Taurus. So darling, that's the uh, weekly tarot reading that I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully you found some cards that did resonate with you, darling. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Uh, let me know which tarot cards resonated. Give this video a like and subscribe, darling. All right, it's completely free to do. And uh, join the family, darling. Hello, what you doing?